Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Bakra Father here. Um, today I'm just gonna mess around, show you guys a new system if you want to try it. It's my version of blackjack, but I'm playing Bakra. It's called Twenty One Blackjack. Um, I'm still gonna be making the Halloween video, and I still have to make a training video for my advanced counters. So I'll be getting to both of those. Don't worry. But today I just wanted to play around with this and see what happens. So just to give you an example of what I'm going to be doing, just like in blackjack, ace through king, ace can be 1 or 11, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, jack, queen, king are all worth 10. So if I just to give you an example what I'm going to be looking for I'm going to go for one win per column but like in this example the player gets a 2 and a 6 so that equals 8 the banker would have an ace and a 9 the ace uses 11 <clears throat> as long as you don't bust so anytime I get 17 through 21 I'm going to be betting on that hand. So in this example, the banker gets a 20. The following hand, I'm going to bet banker. Um, for another example, if you get a player has a 10, king, 4, that would be 24, bust. So no bet because the banker has a 7. We're looking for 17 through 21. And, of course, an ace with just a 10 through king equals a blackjack, no matter what, I'm always going to follow a blackjack. Even if my even if I have my one win per column and a blackjack comes up, I'm gonna follow it. So that is just an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna go over to Live Dealer and let's see what happens. Alright guys, I'm over on the live dealer table. And let's get started with some 21 blackjack. There's a blackjack right there, but they're gonna get another card. So there that goes. So we got a 20. This is the ace and a 10, we can use as a one. So 10 plus one is 11, plus the eight. In. And go ahead and get started right away on the player. It's actually a, a 19, so 17 through 21, I can make a bet. Okay, we lost that one, but the banker has a 19 now. So I'm going on the banker. Just trying to get my one win per column. And it ties. through the tie, even though there's 19 on both sides, I'm going to stay on the banker. Because that was my original bet. Normally I could have bet the tie here too, because uh, 19 to 19, maybe a tie will come again. We got our win right there, so now we can just sit out and wait to the next column. That's all it is.
So that would be a 13 to a 12 right now. So we'd be looking at 22 bust to a 20. So if we were betting this hand, we'd bet on the player. Is it totals 17 to 21? Then we'll follow that hand. It's looking like we would have won. Would have. But we got our 18, that's our 17 through 21. Start of the next column. So we're gonna stay on the player. And hopefully we're just gonna get this win and then maybe eventually see a blackjack that we can bet on while we wait. It's another eight. And we got the win. That is beautiful. Sit back and see if a blackjack comes. If you're just wondering why my balance is $30 less, I uh, a small wager on my beloved Detroit Lions and they failed me miserably. Thank goodness I was in a golf tournament. I, didn't watch it. So just to show you, that'd be 22 to 16. So the bank banker busted. Player has 16. We want that'd be a no bet. We're only betting when we see 17 to 21. That is my version of Bakra Blackjack. But since we already got our win, we're not worried. Unless we see a Blackjack. Just remember, Ace is 1 or 11. As long as you don't bust, you can use it as 11. But if it makes you bust, you have to use it as a 1. Should look at that 14 to 13, 21 for the player. 17 for the banker. Obviously, we'd go with the 21. If we were betting this hand, we'd be on the player. And for you people that use my card reading tip, you could also try the tie here because there was two sevens out there. player gets the win. Once again, it's up to you guys. If you want to play more aggressive, you can keep that like a, you'd be on the player right here now too. Because you had the 18, 17 through 21, means you bet. But I'm doing just one win per column. All right, so we got the 17 on the banker. We'll start off. 
column. Seventeen through twenty one is when you bet. Oh, man. Wasn't paying attention, I just know that we got screwed. All right, we are 19 to 12. They're 19. Dang it, I think we actually had 17, and we should have been on the player there. So I think we just cost ourselves. It's okay, because we got the win anyway. Whew. But we should have been on the player the last hand. We would have won sooner. Yeah. We did. We had 17 that hand that we should have been betting. Do a couple more. So that would just be the banker busted to the player's six. So we'll be batting anyway. It's been a while since I showed you guys something different, so I thought it was time. It would be a 30 and a bust. Even though in blackjack they would stop every 20, we gotta use in Baccarat, we use all three cards if there's three cards. Just in any case, you blackjack players out there, like that's not how you do it. That's how we're doing it in Baccarat. It's all the cards. Whoopsie. We got 12 to 12. And we got a bust to 15. So no bet. We got 21. So we do bet. I caught it. I caught it. Let's see if I'm going to wish I hadn't caught it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, come on. Kidding me. 18 to 19, but we were on the player already. So we're going to stay there. Joke. What a joke. We've 
18. Wow. Now we're not going to bet. I could have done the tie bet there too because it was 19 and 19. I thought about it and I didn't do it. But we're actually going to get off of the player because there was no hand. Seventeen to nineteen. We're gonna go over to the banker now to try to get our win. Still trying to get our first win in this column because of ties. We should have had it the very first hand. They flipped to four with us. Got it there. Got it there. So if you were betting aggressive, instead of just doing one per column, you would be betting the player right here because they had a 20. <laughs> you guys just practice a little bit, you should get it down. And there's a natural nine for the player. See? See how easy it is? I've actually let a lot of wins go. At our 19, we'd be on the player again right here. It wasn't a natural. Got a 23 to a 12. No bets. Player busted. But had we been playing aggressive, we would have won back to back again. All right, we'll do one more column, and then we'll call it good, guys. I got my bet back that I lost. Thank you, Detroit Lions. Eight, no bet. Has to be 17 to 21. We got 12 to 19. Banker. Banker. Try to get our final win. About 50 bucks. If we hit this, good enough. Good enough. Let's make this an easy one instead of had the fight that we had to do last one. The natural. Do the natural. Close. Close. And we got that one as well. 17 to 16 would be the blackjack score. So if I was continued betting, I'd be on the banker right here. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, 
Anytime 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 is when you bet. Oh, it would have lost. Banker has a 21, though. It's not a blackjack, but... Blackjack is with the face card. Blackjack is only two cards. So the player would have to have a natural. And then the banker would have to have like an ace, ten, jack, queen, or king. And that's your natural. That's your blackjack. But we'd still be on the banker if we were playing. And we would want. All right, guys. You want to do one more? All right, let's go one more. The dreaded one more comment. Let's see if the system holds up for the dreaded one more comment. Last one, then we'll call her. Call her a day. Player with a 20. Banker with a 10. 25 to 20. Now the banker has 20. And the player busted. Still confused? Just go back to the beginning of the video, look at the example. Example hands. Should we have stopped? Oh, come on. All right, we got it. Once again, this was pretty stress-free. Uh, we almost got to $500, but we won't get greedy. We got greedy there and went one more. So that is the Bacharach Fathers 21 Blackjack. All you blackjack players out there, give it a try. See what you think. And look out for the Halloween video. The Magnificent Six is going to in, be turned into the Paranormal Six. And I will try to get a training video out to my advanced counters when I can. Other than that, we out of here. Have a good one.